Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video, we're going to give you guys the most popular guns being used in competitive Call of Duty Mobile. It's going to be a top five in quotation marks. There is a specific order, but it's just basically based on who is using them the most or what's more popular. Not specifically the best gun, but generally speaking, they are some of the better guns in the currently meta current meta current meta. i don't know why i say currently meta in the current meta just a quick disclaimer this will not include a few guns such as shotguns and snipers just because shotguns are banned in competitive of now but in the tournament like regular cod tournament are not banned so that's why i didn't put on the list as well as snipers because you always have one sniper and that's it and cindy on S and D search and destroy on search and destroy and you always have generally a sniper on domination if not there might not even be a sniper so we didn't put that on the list so basically we're going to give you guys an honorable mention at the end of the video for those who didn't make it, but very close to the list. So let's just jump right into it. The first gun that you may not have expected to make it on the list is the LK. The LK24 is actually the fifth most popular gun being used by pro players right now. And I can totally understand it. It has good damage. Rico is manageable as well as having decent range. A lot of pro players, including Little B, was using it when he was not using his sniper, Cordite. Obviously one of his choices, but the LK has been used by a lot of pro players, even obviously today when I was watching the tournament or yesterday, whenever this video comes out, we were able to look through the games and saw that a lot of players have been dropping the LK. Even in one game, we had two players use the LK, which is pretty insane with all the facts being considered. Now, we're not really going to talk about the perks or the attachments because honestly, the perks are not going to be very useful for what pros use because in pro scenes, there's a lot of things that are banned, such as RC cars. So comparing it to rank, you can't really compare because in rank, you'll see a lot of people use cold blood. They're not going to use cold blood or they're going to use ghosts, stuff like that. So that's why we're not going to talk about that. But attachment, generally speaking, most pros will have two guaranteed ones. Always have the quick draw as well as the foregrip. And that's going to go the same for every other gun on this list. Foregrip and quick draw will always be on any of the guns. And the only one that will change is the third attachment. And it's really up to preferences. I've seen people use laser sights. I've seen people use extended mags, uh, use quick mags. I've seen people use signs. It really depends depends on their mood so now that we got that all the way let's talk about the number four most popular gun currently in pro scenes it is going to be none other than the bk57 which is really really popular currently in ranked meta as you may have known bobby dropped a nuke with this i have not yet so this makes it a really really good gun it has very solid close range damage good damage in general recoils a little wonky when it comes to medium to long range but it does have a great mag size so i think it believes i think it's about 35 or so i don't know why i said i think i believe i think it's about 35 mag size which is pretty insane the extra five bullets will help you win the fight again attachment we're not going to talk about it very solid gun very good and that's the number four for ar for number three we're going to have another ar and it's going to be the kn44 one of the most popular ar if not the most popular ar currently used very close between the bk as well as the kn44 we've seen players like bolu dominate with this bolu formerly known as nintendo dominate with the kn44 and he brought it to the pro scene and started dominating i know this gun wasn't as popular when it came out i personally used it a lot but a lot of people did not like it and i was telling people it is a really really good gun it has great stability when it comes to medium to long range the damage is decent not amazing and it also have a great rate of fire. You kind of lose fights when it comes to like medium and short range because it doesn't do as much damage as the BK or HBR or stuff like that. Speaking of HBR, didn't put it on the list and I'll explain it at the end near the honorable mention, but just want to keep that in mind. So number three is going to be DKN. Now, hop into the number two and number one. It is going to be SMGs. In the pro scenes, it is a lot of SMGs being played, like ridiculous a lot. And that's just because these next two guns are broken. We have the RUS, which I didn't put any attachments, like I mentioned. Doesn't really matter, it's up to you. But quick draw and foregrip is a must. The RUS has not been nerfed in a few seasons now. It is the old and the trustiest best gun that is currently in the meta i honestly think if you can right now keep playing with the rus keep practicing it because this gun is probably not going to get nerfed for another long while because some other guns are going to get nerfed just personal experience this is one of the best guns it has great damage great range great recoil gotta have the foregrip though and you can laser people from those short to medium even long range if you put the long barrel which i actually started rocking on this the rus got great mobility just like any other smg so RUS is going to take the cake at number two most used gun currently in the pro scene. And number one, you guys probably expected it. 
Everybody made video about this. It's going to be the Corda. And it's not an exaggeration when I'm talking about everybody making videos as well as everybody using this gun. There was literally a game that had 90% Cordite players, if not a hundred percent. One whole team had five Cordites at one point as well as the other time. It was almost a Cordite versus Cordite. And that's why I'm telling people to use the RUS because more likely than not, the Cordite is going to get a heavy nerf. Probably going to get a nerf in the hip fire as well as some damage. I'm going to say probably the damage is going to be nerfed, if not the range. The range is already not that great. So if the damage gets nerfed a little bit, it would be probably worse in the RUS. But I honestly think the RUS is going to be the best gun next season just because of the nerf that's probably going to come to the Cordite. I'm telling you guys, the Cordite was used almost 50% of the games. There was, I think, generally speaking, there's always going to be like three or four SMG players. And of those, I want to say 75% of the time we had Cordite players. So I'm telling you guys, the Cordite is the most dominant and the most used gun currently in the meta. That is the number one. So I'm going to talk to you guys about some guns that didn't make the list. And it's very important to note that these guns are being played and are really popular, but they just didn't make the list because these players had other options like the five that I mentioned. And also I'm going to talk about the HBR. Like I said, I would HBR is not on the list because in these type of tournaments, you're not allowed to have any epic guns or any green guns, not green guns, sorry, blue guns. So you can only have green guns and below there is none of that for the HBR. So that's why you're not going to see it on the list. We do see a few players actually use the M4, which actually was super close to making the list. It was almost tied to the LK. I've seen a lot of players used it, dominating with it. But the LK was slightly used more than the M4. We didn't see the ICR used at all. So that's kind of shocking. I can totally understand M4 has a little bit more damage. So there's that. We also saw the Pharaoh being used quite a bit. There's a lot of players using the Pharaoh. Instead of using the shotgun, I saw the Pharaoh being used very similar to that. So those are the two guns that didn't make the list, but they were really close. And I feel like I'm missing another gun that's very popular that I didn't put in the list. But if I did, I'll probably let it be known afterwards in post or in the comment section, whatever. But yeah, that's going to be it. That's a quick video for you guys to give you guys the meta for pro players. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, hit that like, share and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below which guns you plan on using next season. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Kill it.